My name is Cesar Meneghetti, and I'm here to talk about my film Glauber Claro, which is a film about Glauber Rocha, one of the, the greatest exponents of Brazilian cinema of all times. In his years, he, during the exile, and his penultimate film, he called it Claro. Claro in Portuguese means clear, because he wanted to see clear the contradictions of the capitalistic society. And he compared Rome the myth, as a mythological cuddle of, of all the capitalism that existed at that time. The film was shot uh, in 1975, in two weeks, but divided in two months, more or less, in between April and May. We also go through his path, and, 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 and we went there in between April and May, exactly the same time, to shoot the locations and to talk with all the people that worked in the film, that are survived, the, low, um, the great majority had died, and also uh, some lovers or some critics or some f very best friends of his. So this film is a kind of a, of a, a travel, a trip inside Claro, inside Glauber inside that inside that generation that tears, Glauber the, the period that, that he has been exiled was more or less in, in between 1970 to 1976 is really obscure. I made the Roman film school and, and I knew the Brazilian reality and the Italian reality. I feel uh, that could be a great a great bridge to make. Uh, in between these two worlds that I could, could talk and understand probably more deeply than and that's that what was that moved it to me to make this film. Uh, another thing, it's a, it's a film that talk about uh, life that, that passes. We have beautiful youngsters in between 70 and 92 years old that talk about cinema as a revolutionary gun that uh, uh, that could you could change the the thought of the people you can evolve the thought of the people and you could change also the world there in rome imagine that rome in the 70s glauber find himself exiled but in the same city that Fellini, Antonioni, uh, Lucchino Visconti, Pasolini, Hermano Olmi, Moravia, and several other great filmmakers of all that time were, were living. It was a very, very, uh, was a, uh, it was a melting pot, and very potent. Claro was the third film he made abroad, third, fourth film he made abroad, and was the, his penultimate feature film. And there is lots of things that are in Claro that he brings back to the, his last film, The Age of the, the, Age of the Earth. And um, I think this, all this experimentation was really, really positive because he, he was also fiancé of uh, one of the muses of the Nouvelle Vague was Julia Berton at that time. He, was the, the main figure of cinema novel in Brazil. And they were in the land where neorealism has born. Uh, so Rome, at that time, that generation, really believed that the cinema could change the minds of, and the thoughts of the people, and they could change the world. Rome was so potent that the, uh, picking up the symbols, the postcar symbols of the of, of the city was was almost the film. So he has a very generous way to work, to work with with people, to work with uh, with script. And he was an artist. He was like to, probably he was living today. He uh, he would be like a contemporary artist, I think. Well, anyway, uh, I I wish you a very good session and. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot.